Well, next couple of days, if there are any blocked drains, certainly a chance to get those cleaned out as no rain is in the forecast now until Friday. And as early as Friday morning, we could have a cluster of thunderstorms come through and then another complex late Friday, maybe Friday afternoon, Friday night into Saturday morning. Some of those storms on Friday could be strong. We'll talk about that in just a second. Grass pollen today on the low side, mold sports, of course, high thanks to all this rain recently. But that is just a gorgeous picture outside right now. Just a few fair weather cumulus clouds just kind of dotting our sky. It is absolutely picturesque. Really typical late May day, 86 degrees currently feels like 91 with the humidity and the barometric pressure now on the rise with a little area of high pressure overhead. Clouds radar animation. What you're seeing here are those clouds really just kind of decreasing here north of Interstate 20. A lot of clear sky across most of Texas. Big thunderstorms are in the forecast over the high plains tonight. They'll stay to our north. So tonight in Longview, 70 degrees, Nacogdoches 68, 85 tomorrow, 86 in Nacogdoches, 82 with a 50% chance of rain in Longview. And Nacogdoches has about a 40% chance of rain. Here's the first cluster of thunderstorms tonight. Watch it move across the Red River toward Wichita Falls, falls apart. We'll have low clouds, some fog in the morning, considering all the rain we've had recently. Then this cold front arrives Thursday evening. Strong thunderstorms at Abilene from Kansas City back to, or should say from Springfield, Missouri, back to Oklahoma City. That's a big cluster of thunderstorms that will try to track southward toward us. And so early Friday morning, the remnants of that thunderstorm complex kind of come through here. The cold front shows up, gets a little closer to it. So at 530 Friday afternoon, Strong thunderstorms will be possible from Mineola up to Sulphur Springs. Leading edge of these could have some 60 mile an hour wind gusts. They'll blow over into the Arklatex and then Saturday at about 1 a.m. We'll have scattered showers. There's another cluster that comes through Saturday morning, but since it's behind the cold front, those showers and thunderstorms should not be as strong. In fact, that's the area I think that will eventually blossom into a, a bigger area of thunderstorms and then cooler air will move in Saturday. So next three days, Interstate 20 to the north, about an inch of rain is possible, especially including the Friday morning thunderstorms. South of Interstate 20, it's only about a tenth to a quarter of an inch. Deep East Texas, maybe a tenth to a quarter of an inch. And then nice cool weather moving in. All right, so Memorial Day weekend forecast looks like this. AM thunderstorm Saturday. Look at that high 78 Sunday 62. Some of us are going to fall into the 50s. That's going to feel fantastic. 78 Sunday afternoon Memorial Day itself, mostly cloudy and about 80 degrees. So tonight warm and muggy, no rain. Overnight lows around 70 degrees. The air conditioners and the fans will get their workout once again. Tomorrow, breezy south winds, 10 to 15 miles an hour, gusting close to 20 miles an hour. We'll have a high temperature around 86. The fishing cast tomorrow, it's a three star kind of day, warm and breezy with those south winds. Major bite time, 528 to 728 tomorrow. Baylor Scott White, Texas Spine and Joint Hospital, seven day forecast. Periods of thunderstorms Friday at about 50% chance. The morning has the best chance Saturday, an 80% chance, a high of 78. And then the rest of your Memorial Day holiday weekend looks fantastic before isolated to scattered thunderstorms return Tuesday and Wednesday.